everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another foundation review. Today I want to be reviewing this particular little product here. The Essence All About Matte Foundation. You can get it from Priceline, you can get it from Target. Now why I'm interested in this one is that it says here 12 hours. I want to know does this last 12 hours? I am trying the shade 15 matte camo. You have your little tubey thing like this and I'm just going to apply it straight onto the beauty blender. Not the beauty blender, real technique sponge. Hashtag not sponsored. And I might just nudge you guys in a little bit. Then you can see all my pores. God knows you need to see more of that, eh? I am really looking for, ooh, that has a weird smell. It smells fruity. Actually, it's no, it's not flowers. It's definitely more of a fruity scent. Why would you have a fruity scent for your foundation? <laughs> Ooh, don't know about that. Anyway, let's get this on the face. I have been searching, searching, searching for a long wearing foundation because I'm going to be starting a uh, course pretty soon. God, <laughs> I'm going to be at school between 8 a.m. and I think 3 p.m. That's why I've been looking for a foundation like this. This is meant to be, it is cruelty free. Essence is cruelty free. And I'm pretty sure that this particular foundation is vegan. So that's another reason why I really, really wanted to try this on. Plus the price, it's so cheap. I can't remember how much it costs. I'll put prices down below and like maybe on the screen it's floating around somewhere. All right, let's have a look on this side. That's the situation we got happening here. Not too bad, not too bad. And I definitely feel that it's a, a matte formulation. On camera, I feel like I'm showing up in the facial region a lot more pale than what I am in real life. Like it, it doesn't look like it's matching, right? But in real life, uh, it's actually a pretty, pretty close match to my skin. I do find that with the cheaper foundations that they don't have that color range that I really wish that they did. Well, I feel like that is pretty good coverage, right? I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I do have very red skin and it's very, very difficult for a foundation to fully cover all that up. But for me, I'm very happy with that application. Now I am going to go ahead and apply my powder and I do apply a powder. Uh, maybe you're the same way. I need, I really need it. Like this is so goddamn oily. Every few hours I'll film a little bit more and you can see what this looks like at different points in time throughout the day. Okay. Let's see how we go. I have just gone out. I've had my face on for probably about two, two and a half hours. Natural lighting. You can see what it looks like. You can see the oil that's happening. It's not too bad. I think it's actually not too bad. And oh, that eyebrow's out of place. Get back in there. Anyway, <laughs> let's see how we go in another couple of hours. 3.43. I have switched cameras so you can see what this looks like on my proper big camera. And I don't know if it's any better or worse, but yeah, it's probably been about six to seven hours. Let me just get a little bit close up here. Like there's definite shine happening basically all over. I usually get makeup creasing here and I don't think it's creasing as much there as it usually does, which is really surprising to me. Also, um, let me take my goggles off. I feel like it is creasing in my little eye things, eye creases. <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know why. I can't figure this stuff out. I haven't uh, retouched anything, haven't applied any extra powder. I haven't blotted my face. I'm just letting it do its thing so we can all find out what does this really look like after 12 hours. 9.41 p.m. We are officially over the 12 hour mark and I am so ready to wash this off my face. <laughs> Let's go close. Let's get right in there. Keep in mind, I have two studio lights here. So if I was under overhead lighting, it would be pretty bloody horrible. These kind of lights do really even out the skin tone and just give a really nice finish. Even so, <laughs> you can see how much shine is happening. You can see, I mean, this is normal cause of glasses, but like creasing under the eyes here. And look at that. 
check this out. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I have, of course, not touched this up at all during the day. If I was wearing it normally, then I probably would kind of, you know, go over my face a bit with a bit of powder or I'd blot my face and get rid of the oil. I'd do something about the oil situation. Also, side note, this stuff is kind of difficult to get out of your um, applicators. You might have to replace your sponges a little bit more frequently if you're using stuff like this. Final thoughts, would I recommend this? I think so. The smell is a little bit strange, but it does, it does last. I feel like it actually really does last. Does it give you a matte finish forever? No, maybe you can change that a little bit with powder or with primer or something like that. Maybe. Would you really be wearing this for 12 hours or more than 12 hours? I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't want to. I don't really like to wear makeup for that long, but you know, if you do have to, then this is what your face is going to look like at the end of the day. This is just a very super, super cheap drugstore foundation that you can get in lots of different places around Australia. I don't know what it's like overseas, but if I can find any links for you, I will put them down below. All right, guys, it is so late, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you have any suggestions, leave them for me down below. If you like this as well, please just throw your little thumbs at it because it really does help me out a heck of a lot. And guys, I look forward to uh, seeing you all in my next video. Catch you next time, guys. Have a fantastic rest of the day and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>